Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Evelyn. So you guys are getting back-to-back -back videos this week. I know yesterday I posted on my home tour and then today we are going to be doing another fun video. This video is going to be some Christmas tablescape ideas for you guys. I have about three ideas for you guys and hopefully you can recreate them if you are hosting Christmas this year. I'm not going to be hosting this year, but I still wanted to put out this video in case you are and give you some ideas on how you can decorate your Christmas table. This video is also a very fun collab with a very good friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Kenzie Mack and I'm so excited to be sharing her channel because she does all types of videos. She does cleaning, she does decorating and her decorating is so good. And she also does some makeovers so she has a lot of great videos and you guys are just going to love her. Her personality is amazing, she's so funny and you guys will see that once you check out her videos. But I will have her channel and her video linked down below for you guys to check out. She will also be doing some tablescape ideas so once you're done watching my video you can head on over to her channel and watch her video to see what she created i would really appreciate it if you let her know that i sent you in the comments i'm going to be in her comment section liking all of you guys's comments and seeing all the support you guys are showing her anyways let's get started with today's video so for this first tablescape idea i decided to use garland and i had these on my stairs but i took them down for you guys for this video but i'm going to be using two of the norfolk pine garlands that i got from kirkland's this year and i believe they are sold out and i feel like they come back in stock here and there so just be on the lookout in case you do want them or you can just wait till next year but i'm using this garland you can use any garland that you've already had but i'm using two and i'm kind of going to shape it in like an s so i want it to be curved and just to give it some movement Now for some texture, I decided to add some pine cones and I'm kind of hiding them underneath some of the little branches so that it looks like it's part of the garland, but I love how this added some visual interest and just a different texture to this garland. I made sure to spread them out evenly and I believe I used six pine cones for this garland and now moving on I'm going to be adding some fairy lights just to add some warmth and I don't know I feel like it just adds a magical touch when you add lights so I decided to add these lights these I got from Target this year they were in the Target dollar section for five dollars and I honestly regret not getting more because they're just the perfect length in my opinion and I just love them so much but I used one strand of lights and I just kind of zigzagged them around the garlands just so that it wasn't just a straight line and I love how this added some warmth. Now for some height, I'm going to be adding these candlestick holders and these I purchased from Amazon this year. I love that they are a warm gold and they are an absolute steal. They are such a great deal. I believe you get six of them for $30 so they are at an amazing price and what I did was I started off with the shortest size in the middle and then I moved on to the tallest size and then on the very ends I used the medium size. And for plates, I'm going to be using these that I've had from Target and ideally you do want to use plate chargers just to help not damage your table from the heat. But I just didn't have any, but you can find any at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby. I know they have this really pretty leather looking one, 
but I'm using these plates and I love them. I love the imperfect circle and just that they're a neutral color so they go with any tablescape and I will be using these for all three looks and I'm also going to be using these glasses. These are champagne glasses that I got from H&M Home. My husband was not a fan. He said that it looks like, you know when the coffee pot is stained with like coffee? He said that it, they look like they are stained with coffee, but he doesn't get it. They're like an amber glass and they just look so pretty. And for silverware, I'm going to be using these gold ones that are also from Target, but you don't have to go out and buy some gold ones. I know Target sells these gold looking ones, but they are plastic and I actually have them and I will be using them for the last look. So stay tuned for that option. And for my napkins, these are also from Target. I believe these are from the Studio McGee line and I'm going to be tying them in a knot. So what I did was I basically folded it in half, kind of like a triangle, and then I rolled it up and I just did your basic knot and I kind of loosened it a little bit just so that it looked a little bit more effortless. I don't know. It looked really nice and I just love how pretty it looks. I'm sure you all recognize these mini cedar stems that are actually gift toppers from Target. I've been using them throughout my videos, so I'm sure you guys all know where they're from by now. But I'm also going to be using these bells. These are from Amazon, and I actually have them as ornaments on my tree, but I decided to use them for this tablescape. They just add such a cute vintage touch. And that completes the first tablescape idea. I just love all the greenery and just how effortless everything looks and I was going to be adding some actual candlesticks to the candlestick holders but they were a little too tall and I was not liking it so I like that the lights bring in that warmth and I just love how this one turned out So I'm actually going to be keeping the same plates and glasses for all three looks but for the middle I decided to switch it up and I'm adding this table runner that is from Amazon and I topped it with this candlestick holder that is from Target and I'm also going to be placing these cedar stems. These are from the Hearth and Hand collection and I believe they are the largest size. So I'm placing one on each side and I'm kind of going to be creating like a swag. So I also placed that same cedar stem but in the smaller version and I added one on each side to keep things very simple symmetrical but it was still a little too sparse so I went ahead and added these juniper stems that are from Target and I just love the little blueberries that they have it just adds such a cute touch so I added two on each side I went ahead and added some candlesticks for this look since it was just two and it adds some height and it also brings in some warmth with the fire so I added those candlesticks and then for the napkins I'm just keeping it very simple I just folded it up in a rectangle and I'm adding those same cedar gift toppers as well as a pine cone. So that completes the second tablescape idea. I love this one because you can use any stems you have around your house to create your own swag. And I just love how organic this one looks.
So for this last and final look, I'm going to be placing down some fairy lights. These are the same ones from the Target dollar section and it will all make sense in a little bit but I'm kind of going to be bending them down in like a zigzag motion and then I'm going to turn them on and then place this table runner on top. This is like a gauze cheesecloth material and I found it on Amazon and I'm placing it over the lights and the lights just shine through and give it such a cute cozy and magical vibe. I love how they turned out and then I'm going to be scrunching up the table runner in a few parts just to make it look less perfect and just I don't know more lived in so I did that and then right in the middle I'm adding this vase that I got from Target and then topping it with some cedar stems these are the hearth and hand ones the smallest size and then right next to that I'm adding the medium sized candlestick with the smaller size candlestick and then I'm doing the same thing on the other side so these are the plastic option that I mentioned earlier. So this one comes with 20 forks, 20 spoons, and 20 knives. And it's only like $6. So it's such a great option in case you don't want to go and buy gold silverware or if you don't have any i think this is perfect so i placed those on top of the napkin and then i used this green velvet ribbon that i found from amazon to tie a bow and i think it looks so cute and christmasy so i added those on top of each of the plates and then that completes the final look That wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got some amazing ideas in case you are hosting for Christmas. Also, don't forget to check out Kenzie's video. I will have that link down below. Let her know that I sent you in the comments. I'm going to be over there checking out all your support. So go check her out. Thank you so much for being here, for watching, and for commenting and liking all of my videos. It truly does not go unnoticed how much support you guys have shown me. So thank you guys so much for that. I hope you have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.